language is clear. The picture is very clear. Even as a journalist, you have been following his excellency around his campaign to the Ferris Nigeria district. You see how he's loved by the people of Kogi State. Those are the people that are holding the PDC. Those are the people that all the infrastructure we are talking about, they are touching their life. We are not talking about Facebook politicians. They can be there in Abuja anywhere, post a lot of nonsense to the Facebook. But the people that are benefiting from the good work of His Excellency, Elijah, yeah, those are Facebook. You see them the way they turn out in mass. You were in Central yesterday, day before yesterday. You see the way people turn out. That one is not, it's not, it's not, they are not influenced by anything. It's the, you see the quality of road you, you travel from Itape up to Okene, the, I mean, the venue of the rally. It's world-class infrastructure. So these people are aware that those people that are talking on Facebook, they are fighting for them to get money to continue to, put, to pay their children that are schooling abroad and, uh, and uh, continue to live their life in, uh, in, uh, in Abuja. The actual person that is touching their life is His Excellency Alhaji Adol Zapele. So as far as I'm concerned, the election that is coming November 16, it's a done deal. You understand? From all signs, all the body language, all the all the all the campaign round you go, you know that APC, His Excellency, is on the ground and he's going to deliver the vote more than what the, his performance in the in the in the House of Assembly, Senate, and House of Rep. For the first time in the history of Kogi State, to for for you to have 25 members in the state. as the governor of Kogi State is divine because of the cry of the people for help from God. And because he doesn't have God's father, human Godfather, the God himself is his father. Mm -hmm. And definitely there are a lot of wrong things being done before where federation money comes in, people sit down and share it through by donors contract and nothing is seen on the ground. Definitely those people will fight back. Most of the high cry and all those uh, Facebook accusations you are seeing is because the people that have been benefiting from the all this corruption in Kogi State before, they have been caught, they have they have called the pipe away. You could see that he has a lot of distraction. You see the history that he's coming in, he had the highest court cases, 18 court cases. And by the grace of God, he won all the 18 court cases. Then with everything, no payment of salary and all those things, that one has become things of the past because he didn't generate the problem, but they wanted to use it against him. God intervened, he released the uh, uh, bond and he used it to pay the, 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 the salary and everywhere is quiet now. So to me, God is in control of Kogi State. He's trying to rebuild a new Kogi State. Because Kogi State was disunited along major ethnic group. Mm -hmm. And the Brahman doesn't believe in a Galaman. And the Okuman doesn't believe in a Brahman or a Galaman. They were living, were living like that. You understand? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of insecurity that even when you're entering Kogi State, you have to stay for us and pray that you will pass through Kogi State without being robbed or kidnapped. But today, I see an Igalaman as my brother. We relate, we sit down together, we eat together. The same thing with Okuma. So his community has greatly united the whole Kogi state as one. Not along ethnic group. We see ourselves as co guys. Not as I'm, and I, I don't see myself as an Igala man, and I look at an Igala man as, as my enemy. The same thing with Oku people. So for him to do this means that he means business. And where there's unity, there will be progress. Where there's, where there's no distrust, there will be, I mean, there are, there are a lot of 
progress can be, I mean, uh, can be attained. So to me, bringing him to allow him to consolidate on what he has done for the past three and a half years, despite a lot of distraction, I said, distraction from the insecurity, distraction from the from the court cases, and distraction from the the so-called godfathers that believe that they're supposed to be milking Kogi State, that he stopped from milking Kogi State. It is now that when he come back, he'll be able to consolidate on the progress that he has made in terms of infrastructure, in, terms, in agriculture, in education, in security, then you consolidate on it and now put Kogi State on a good pedestal for future development. <music>